after our concert at Benaroya Hall, which many of you attended, and thank you very much. Our fundraising eff efforts at that point have brought us uh, up to 25,000 towards our $70,000 goal for the new piano. Then over the past couple of weeks, uh, a couple of exciting things have happened. We've had uh, two families pledge $10,000 each to match uh, donations that come in before May 31st. Um, so, if you would care to write a check this evening, Miss Jackie Carr is at the table, or will be at the table, uh, out in the foyer, I believe, and um, that would mean that your donation would be tripled. If you happen to work for a uh, company that also matches charitable donations, that means it would be quadrupled. So uh, please consider that. Um, yes, my message is to hopefully keep Jackie very busy this evening. I love a piano, I love a piano, I love to hear somebody play. Upon a piano, a grand piano, it simply carries me away. I know a fine way to treat a stein way. I love to run my fingers or the keys, the ivories, and I decide to right way past an upright to a stein way concert grand. Hit it, Christina. <laughs> we need your money. We need your money. <laughs> we'll use your money. Your lovely money. <laughs> So use your credit card and take out your wallet to write a check. What the heck? So don't be crazy, but don't be lazy. Please give us all your cash. She cracked herself up. You may remember earlier in the year that um, uh, orchestra alum Michael Ravem came on the uh, season premiere concert and played the, what was that? Oh yeah, it was the Greek piano concerto. Go right ahead, go right ahead. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and the funny thing is that the Greek concerto happens to have been one of the favorites of Rachmaninoff. In fact, Rachmaninoff always kept a score, always kept a score around his house. So, when Rachmaninoff went to write his first concerto, he basically took the structure of Greeks and used exactly the same structure and hung his own musical ideas on that structure. Um, so, uh, it would be fitting that we present Rachmaninoff here at the end of the season, and to do so, of course, is one of our favorites, Nicole Hope. I think we're set though. 